Yeah, it's good. This is always a fun day. Always a fun day. So let's go over. Let's okay. Three, three, yeah. Three signees of what they're uh, yeah. providing the program this year's class. Yeah. This is always a, an exciting day. I, I told each one of the three to really enjoy it because it's the only time they get to go through it. And, um, and, and I, you know, hopefully they made it really special. I've seen some of the pictures. But, yeah, let's start with uh, local. Let's go with Sophia Bell. Uh, she's a legacy here. Uh, Dad played basketball here back in the day. He's actually on our board of regents. He's a proud duck, proud duck alum. Um, kind of a funny story. I, I'll save that for another day when she actually committed to us. Uh, gave me a heart attack, but we really like her. She is a, um, a very versatile player, long athlete, um, a classic. If she was an NBA player, they'd call her a 3 and D, and she'd be highly uh, coveted. Um, but I, I like that she can handle the ball. She's a winner, plays in the Cal Stars program, and, um, you know, so she's done a lot of winning in her team. Sammy Wagner, uh, 6'1", kind of a versatile, all-purpose forward. Um, out of San Antonio, I think she's the best player in Texas. I saw she got 44 last night, put her over 2,000 in her career, which was uh, kind of a cool thing. But I like her because... Uh, number one, she's a baller. She's really into basketball. She's very competitive. Um, number two, she's a great passer. She really sees the floor well uh, for someone her size, and, and she's really good in pick and roll. So those are really important things for us. Uh, and then um, Sarah Rambus, who's kind of followed in Grace's footsteps, went from the upper Midwest down to IMG uh, Academy for her senior year. And uh, you know, 6'3", she's, I, I, she's got some toughness about her. She's, she's a little ornery from time to time, and I love that about her game. Uh, versatile, can, can shoot the three. Uh, she's really good with her back to the basket. So I think all three players can play, you know, two or three positions each. So kind of positionless, and I like that. Um, but I think Sarah has, has got a chance to be pretty good. I think she's just, of the three, I think she's the one that's the most untapped. So she's got a lot of growth potential. I'm really excited about that. So good class. Yeah. I was just going to ask, it's hard to project who will be here next year with the portal and all that, but how do you think maybe this group fits well with the group you just brought in, the four that are playing here now? I think they're a great complement for it. Yeah, I think uh, what you see on our team this year, um, you know, we have a couple of fifth years that, that can't be back, but I think everybody else will be. So I think the, the three incomers will uh, really – kind of complement what we have and like I said they're all versatile they all can play different positions so you know Sammy is built a little bit like Grace but they have completely different games and and could play together or um, you know so I, I just think um, yeah it's a good compliment I that's one of the things that I think we've done a pretty good job of over the years is we've blended we, we've recruited what we've needed and um, and and we build a team accordingly. I think that's why we've had some sustained success because we don't just get the, the same player. A lot of programs do. You look at them in warm-ups go, man, we're in trouble. But then they go out there and they're all the same player. They have the same deficiencies. So we, we always seem to get some playmakers with some shooters, with some size. And uh, yeah. You've heard a lot of waxing poetic about NIL and recruiting across college sports. How pervasive has it been so far in women's basketball, and how, or not, so far? Yeah, well, I think all three of our incoming players on their visits, we made NIL presentations to, uh, which is allowed. We didn't promise them anything or anything like that, but uh, so they know about it. it. It's part of the recruiting process now. Uh, our players, some are, you know, uh, have gotten deals on their own. There's so many different ways that they can do that on their own. You know, we, we're not allowed to do it for them anyway, but there are mechanisms in place to, to help them. But, yeah, I think it's becoming a bigger and bigger part. There's some programs that are promising some pretty good uh, chunks of change. Maybe off the record we say talk about that, but I don't know. Ask uh, Jimbo Fisher. How they're doing with that whole NIL. It doesn't guarantee anything. You know, you still need great chemistry as well as great players. In terms of the here and now, uh, certainly looks pretty serious with Kennedy. What is the uh, extent of that? Yeah, you know, um, yeah, I think everybody saw it. It happened during the game. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, I, it's her knee. And um, 
and it's going to be a few weeks, several weeks actually. But we're hopeful that uh, that she is back by the time we get going into Pac-12 play. Uh, we just we don't need injuries <laughs> right now, and and uh, you know one injury is um, when you only have ten players is magnified. But uh, I think everybody else is is healthy. But I feel for Kennedy. She had been making great strides. I just really feel for. And you mean Pac-12 play in terms of January, not the OS, the OSU mid-December? Yeah, mid yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, that's we don't normally. Yeah, uh, no, I think it's gonna it's gonna be several weeks. So yeah, we'll we'll be without her. It's just people have got to step up. Uh, it makes us a lot smaller when Philly's not in the lineup. So no, no procedure or anything needed. Just just time for her to heal. Uh, that I don't know. To be honest with you, uh, she just had an MRI yesterday, and I haven't had a chance because we took the day off so I haven't had a chance to talk with the doctors uh, as to what it is but uh, I boy anytime there's they cut on it it's going to be more than a couple of months so as far as I know I'm not sure that there's going to be any kind of a surgery but I don't know how does that change you in the short term I guess the interim well we ran Tay a lot at the four today that's why it wasn't looking so pretty you guys saw a really rough end of the end of the practice yeah we're just going to have to go small uh, from time to time. How much does that not just change by way of size that you have on the court, Kelly, but in terms of stylistically to be probably more reliant on the three then as a result when, you, when you're smaller, you, more guards means theoretically yeah. better shooters and more shooters, but you're also then dependent that much more on the long shot and the long rebound. Yeah, well, yeah, I, I, you know, the other night we played with a small, the other night looked like, you know, because Kennedy played six minutes, six plus minutes, so we, we played a lot like we're going to play, and I think we had 56 points in the paint, something like that. So our guard, so I, and we only took 19 threes, so it's not like we're uh, three heavy. You know, we still want to attack. I think it, it just makes us uh, more dynamic. You know, we can shoot it, but I thought our guards did a great job of attacking the basket, getting downhill, getting in the paint, and creating that way. So we're going to have to do a little bit more of that. Um, but... Philly's still going to be able to clog the middle. She's just going to have to play more. She's just going to have to get herself in good enough shape to play 25 to 28 minutes a game. You know, Grace is still going to play her 30 to 35 minutes a game. So, and then um, Taylor, you know, sometimes. So, you know, you're only talking maybe 10 to 12 to 15 minutes where we'll have to go small. Um, and that small could even be just Taylor and, and Grace together. How key is it for Philly to avoid foul triple? Like yeah, that kept her up the floor, right? Yeah, Philly, don't foul. <laughs> yeah, we need her in the game. And that's just, you know, a maturation. You know, she, she hasn't played a lot of basketball. And um, I thought she did a great job. I thought she really set the tone. And what happened defensively the other night, was she was able to clog the middle, and the guards could put a lot more pressure on the perimeter. And that's we created some steals and got the tempo the way where we wanted. And that, a lot of that's due to Philly. You know, if she can just continue to get better at that, she's a heck of a uh, heck of a talent, and she's so unique. You know, because she's she's long. She's going to keep getting better by March. That's going to be a really tough player. Are there things that stood out from Monday you want to see improved by Saturday, and then that the, I guess a couple days later too. You've got a couple games here coming up. Yeah, I thought defensively there were some times like they they pinned us inside a little bit. I thought we lost track of a couple of shooters. Uh, but I thought, for the most part, it was a pretty complete game. You know, when you watch it on film after, you go, you know what, we were pretty good here and we were pretty good there. When at the moment I thought, yeah, we could, we could have gotten a little bit better in transition or whatever. Uh, the fouls, I thought we made some silly fouls. And so it got them into the one-on-one, -on -one. the bonus. I guess we don't do one-on-one -on -one anymore. The bonus, um, too early. So that's something we can clean up. Hypothetically, say there was a mythical beast who happens to play the center position who – could be available out there somewhere in the portal these days. They're eligible as a mid-year so as long as they did not play. They yeah. could have practiced yeah. in the preseason, yeah. but as long There's as they didn't play. Process. Okay. Yeah. I know where you're going with this. Uh -huh. um, yeah, you know, and that's something we'll, uh, you know, perhaps pursue. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, I can't say anything more than that. Yeah. You know that, yes. but um, yes. yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it becomes more of a priority now, right? Mm -hmm. 